Hey everyone, I wanted to show you how to make an assignment for your students using Google Classroom. And if you already own my push in language lesson plan guides, you can assign the Google slide presentations very easily for your students. And this can relieve some stress with planning lessons and knowing that your parents have something that is step by step with activities for them that is digital. So if your families do not have printers, but they do have internet from the district and maybe they're a Chromebook and they've been given access, they can still do activities. So here is what you would do. You're going to go to your classroom. You're going to go to class work. You're going to create an assignment. You're going to hit assignment. You can call it transportation. Let's do. Let's learn about transportation. Go through this Okay, so you can put the title, instructions, um, over here it's kind of cut off, but if you want, you can, you know, give points, you can put a due date, you can put a topic, um, you can put all students or assign to certain students, then you're going to click add, you're going to go to your Google Drive, and so in your drive, you will have all of my um, language lesson plan guides that you own. When you download the Google slide presentations, I have it set up so that it will automatically have you make a copy because you will have to make a copy in order to um, assign this. So I'm going to show you, I'll show you how to get to the Google slide presentations after I do this. Then you're going to click the one you want because we're going to do transportation and you're going to add it. You want to be able to have each student to have its own their own copy. So you're going to go down here and you're going to click make a copy for each student. OK, and then over here you can't see in the screen. I don't think I can um, expand it now, but it has a sign. You're going to click assign and right now it is assigning this to the students. OK, so now it is assigned. So you can go view assignment by clicking on it. You can see who turned it in and who didn't turn it in. I, I do not have any students in here right now due to confidentiality and I'm still trying to see what my teachers are wanting to do. Um, we're in the process of learning <laughs> what we're going to do. Um, okay, so I'm going to go here. We want to go to the instructions so you can see the actual assignment and your students can click present. I don't want to do it because it will make the screen super big. So, but this is what they would get to do with their families. They would talk about the vocabulary and you can even put in speaker notes for the families like, hey, talk about where cars can take you on this slide. Um, that's the beauty of this. I have this set up for you to make your lives easier to help support parents. But if there is something very specific you want to add for your kids, you can make different presentations without having to recreate the same or with, without having to recreate all the slides. You can just make go up here to file and where is it? Make a copy of the entire presentation or selected slides. Then you can add in your own things too. So here's the book that I picked from YouTube. It's called, um, I forget what it's, I think it's called Fast and Slow. Um, but if you have a specific transportation read aloud book, you can come here, insert a new slide. Then you're going to insert a video and you can search transportation read aloud and we'll just do my truck is stuck okay so then this is now a new slide in your presentation so you can customize these so I've made them pretty much somewhat comprehensive for you but 
you can by all means change things out or maybe you have something very specific to wh questions and so you want to keep only the ones that have wh questions and then you want to use this book read aloud and then you want to make slides with comprehension questions you can do that so this just helps give you a start so let's say you want to try out some of my google slide presentations and you want to see what it's like i have a free one called um it's a free chicken themed push in lesson plan guide for you. You're going to come to my website, the dabbling speechy.com. You're going to type in chicken push in, and then you're going to click on using chickens in your next push in lesson. And all the activities on here are free. So this is all free. So you could even send these home with parents and assign it. This is in my store. It's behavior visuals, but it has everything. So you're going to click this pink button. You're going to put in your information and then you're going to go to your email and this is going to be directly emailed to you. Okay. So you will go to your email and it will be right here. Claim your download. You're going to click it and then let's see, I already have it in my, um, drive. It's right here. So I'm going to show you where you would find that Google slide presentation. It's going to be right here. You're going to click this and it's going to prompt you to make your own copy for your own drive. And that's going to allow you to upload this to your Google Classroom. So then once you have the copy, this is what it looks like. And this one is shorter because it's for my pr free resource. There's only about seven slides. So you can definitely add more if you want, but it has like, what do chickens have? What do you know about chickens? So there's prompts and then you can have some prompts down here to help guide parents. There is an action um, brain break for chicken dance. There's also the chicken count. So let's count the chickens. There's pictures for a chicken lifestyle, <laughs> lifestyle, life cycle. <laughs> Um, watch the chickens clucking so they get to see real action of chickens actually doing something. And then if let's say we have a really fun book that we like to do, we're going to go to video, chicken, read aloud, and we want to add that slide in. And we'll just do interrupt. I like big chickens. I usually I, I, uh, preview these to make sure I like how the person is reading the book. Um, and if I have never read the book before, I'll watch it to make sure I like it. Um, and then you're going to put it like this. And let's say you want to start um, having some, com you know, comprehension questions. You can, you know, make answer choices by inserting a text box or images you can get those from you know google images a lot of places i like to get images from is pixabay they have some free images and that's a good way to get images in here so it doesn't have to be fancy but this is just a guide for parents okay so i hope this was helpful i'm going to try to play around with seesaw to see what that is like and because i know some of you are using that but you could probably upload these to Seesaw as well. If you have any questions, feel free to email me at Felice Clark at the dabbling .com. You can also reach out to me on social media. Feel free to share this with your teams and your speech pathologists that need a tutorial for how to assign these. And um, one thing that I think could be really helpful is <clears throat> Working together as a speech department for like, let's say you have a lot of kindergarten, first grade mods of your classrooms, creating Google slide presentations that everybody does one presentation and then they all share it with each other so that you have weekly assignments already set up without you having to do that 40 hours of work or however many hours it takes to do it because we don't have the time right now. So if we break up the work, we can really support our students efficiently without losing our minds. Isn't that what it's all about? So if you like this, you can subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to do um, more tutorials and little videos to help support you during this time. You guys are rock stars and I hope you are resting up on the days that you can 
we got this. Reach out anytime if you're feeling um, low and you need to pick me up. All right.